guys see the new droids? Yeah, the um, the new like black series size ones. Those look awesome. No, definitely going to pre-order. I have not seen those. Yes. Star Wars is a money grab. Hey, oh hey. yeah, money grab, Mr. Money Grab. Over you here. know, and I was trying to just kind of bring this in because next week we've got Yak Fate. Hey Posse, how's it going? Uh, I just wanted to cut in and say that this uh, episode was filmed the week prior to having Yak Face on, uh, but we didn't re- didn't have time to release it until after we had Yak Face on, so that's why it seems like we're time traveling here a little bit. Yak Face is a money grab. <laughs> Good call, Mr. Money Grab. We love himself. you, Jason. What up, Posse? Hey, what this up? is Brandon. That's Mark. Thank you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm Chad. And I'm also Mark. <laughs> you're and you're dang it, you're Mark. Dang. He is Mark squared. Um squared. should we go into the dead tech type thing first since we've we've got yeah, we a few? Yeah, we'll start with dead tech. Okay. Oh. Cuz it's dead. <laughs> like Alpha Flight. In, in mm-hmm. honor of the got dead. Em. In the honor of the dead, they they came up with something that y- I, you could say for some people this was a money grab. Absolutely. But you possibly. for no for me this was really kind of an interesting book. Uh, shout out to Renee for giving me that for a gift. It is literally every martial arts person you can think of uh, in the Marvel universe, and they did a really interesting way of just making it cohesive with different Ronins and different <laughs> ninjas. And ninety percent of it is uh, uh, Asian people, Asian characters, and then Wolverine. Then Wolverine. <laughs> Uh, Deadpool, I guess. Deadpool right? was in there. Uh, Daredevil Iron Fist. Daredevil was in there. Yes. Oh, okay. So. Oh, was, there we go. Deadpool. Yep. yep. I I read it literally. I read it in one night, but yeah. there was a lot of pictures to look Ooh, at Fing too. Fang so. Foom. Yeah. The pictures are your specialty, Chen. Well, they kind of <laughs> tell a story, you know, man what? thing. Oh, my God. That's so me. random to have a man thing in there. It fits. It okay. fits, but I don't want to get there. So, yeah, I it's thank awesome you. Artwork. There's some great artwork on this, and I think that I might buy another one and then cut it up and actually put it in some frames because, yes. Yeah, that's a sweet uh, yeah. Wolverine picture. Right I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having that in my office. Yeah. Go easy on it. Don't be slapping that around. <laughs> it's his now. Don't worry about it. Shoot, baby. So, dang. so when Chad <laughs> showed us a picture of it, Mark's like, "Oh, I got those books too." Who got those? They're, so they're Mark did not have those books, but he brought a couple of books that he would like to now, share with you. They're cooler. In Look Morgan that. Freeman voice, he in fact did not have. Already, they're cooler. <laughs> yeah, they're cooler now. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is Mark's reading level, right? Isn't yeah. this like that's right. Five to ten. Oh, it's an origin story for four-year-olds, or for four four-year-olds. Oh, very nice. You know, Mark still isn't done with this one yet. Yeah, don't tell him the ending. <laughs> he just keeps losing it when he sees the pretty pictures. I didn't read oh these. Oh my god! You didn't read them? No. Would you pay for those? Two bucks. Oh, really? Two dollars a piece. We're like at like a dollar. Not that obviously again, not a dollar this store, one's but way cooler than yours. Wow. <laughs> Man, shots fired. It is a Hulk book, though, so I will give you that. Both of them have Hulk on the cover. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is. Is this like... an origin story too? Yep. Oh, Chad's gonna take okay. this one. I'm not gonna take it. That's it's a matter look on of Brandon's face most of the times when it's like, "Are we recording?" <laughs> Looks like Mephisto in a way. A little bit with the eyes and the hair, mm-hmm. yeah. Because he's red. Boy, you know these origin stories. There's not much to them. Well, yeah, yeah they're... <laughs> <laughs> but technically, they are the exact origin stories that were in the comics, but at your reading level. That's right. But they're That's condensing. Right. I, I, I was that. reading at two and a half. I, so you were reading like never mind i don't have that much math in me uh brandon where do you want to go <laughs> math what do you want to uh, do let's start with some hot wheels hot. i don't have a problem you so are problem. these your hot wheels yes they are okay these are his hot wheels you don't <laughs> have these how do you know i don't have those? i don't know i'm just trying to start a fight you do not actually. Have those. this is a sweet speed racer variant uh with mm. like looks like you got ran into the oh wall that's cool but, yeah, you never really see too many Mach 5 stuff these days, so I'm like, I grab it when I see it. You know, I feel like, the, especially, like, with the Tigra or Tigra or whatever, however Mark wants to say it wrong, I feel like when they put some money into some of these toys, it doesn't matter what toy it is, they really go all out on the box, on the cu- on the card. That's you know- Yanni Lightning. <laughs> Yanni Lightning. Get out of here, sir. Yamo be there. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. 
What else you got? Oh, uh, this one is the. What else uh, do you want to take? The oh, Batmobile. you know, I feel like you have too many of these, Brandon. I, do, but, I think we need to have an but intervention. This one is when the penguin stole it and turned it into the penguin mobile. See his little umbrella. So it's a variant that they just stuck some things on there and they just got you to buy it. Now that's a money grab. It is. Yeah, it I'll is happily money, give you my money. Happily do it. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. What are the bigger? What do these bigger ones go for? They seem Five to have bucks. have a little bit yeah, more. Well, yeah, they're well, then stop throwing it around. They're like ten. Mm, taking them later. So That's like, true. These were ten, so you could probably get twelve. Money grab. These are ten. Yeah, they're okay. ten, and then that one I think was like five. Five. Or nine or something. That makes sense. This is a really cool one. Uh, Ooh, we'll start with the, okay. We're gonna roll into the that. big boy. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do the big boy. Okay, this is like the meat of the episode. Uh, the violator from the new relaunched McFarland spawn wave here. Uh, now I just gotta find the clown and the redeemer spawn. Jokes on you. Those are actually the same violators from 20 years ago, and they're gonna Probably. fall apart in the next five minutes. <laughs> if you if you cut the tape to open it, it just disintegrates. Just disintegrates. I don't, I don't know. This beast paint chips off. Yeah. Feel how heavy that is. Yeah, it is a big guy. Oh, right. Is, yeah. I would not offer to ship that to somebody. <laughs> Free shipping. Oh wow. <laughs> you gotta pay like this 10 bucks shipping. And after I hated on McFarland last week, I'm gonna keep the hate going. I what? hate this fig. Do you, do you really? I, cause Why? It's, because it's Brandon too... has it, so I can oh. hate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't buy this fig. It's not going to fit in my collection. Brandon, if you want to gift it to me, sure, I'll take it, but I'm not going to buy this figure. because oh, he started the toy group. Okay, not... let me ask you. <laughs> you notice how Mark tried to make that all about Mark again. Right, exactly. That's what I do. That's what you do. Oh, uh, Mark, uh, Mark, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what did this cost? What did this cost? Uh, thirty nine ninety nine. But I got the uh, spend fifty get ten dollars off. Okay. Uh, so I bought, okay. I bought this and I bought those two things. I think and I basically got a free car. I'm. Uh-huh. I would say that I'm gonna hate on this too. Oh. Uh, well, I'm draw because there's that. really no difference between this and the last one. Just this is thicker though. This, the other one had the so longer neck. they this they didn't like have a hollow body. This on. one looks better than that one, the old one. But it, I have the old one too. <laughs> And you know what's sad, though, is the old one from 25, 26 years ago. Well, last longer than this one. Well, I was going to say that it was probably 50 bucks back then. <laughs> it was more expensive. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, like tw- it was like 25 Were they 25? They, they were like, kind of spendy. The clamshell ones. But yeah. you could always find them on clearance at, like, the DVD places that, you know, you could do whatever oh, like it was. Sam Goodies or Suncoast Sam Goodies and stuff, and stuff yeah. like that. Right yeah. on Suncoast is what I was thinking of. Thank Sun you. Suncoast. Okay, moving on. Wow, pushy chat over No, here. I just <laughs> ended my st- – I didn't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow, the hot rod over here. Oh, I like that. I just watched the commentary and listened to the commentary of Roddy Roddy Piper on They Live with oh, John nice. Carpenter. That's a good movie. Yeah. I need and to get that Billy Gunn and Kevin Nash. He's such a great guy. He was such what? a great Roddy guy. Roddy Piper yeah. was one of the most energetic, entertaining to watch people in wrestling speak because he ah, you just go nuts and you're like yeah. this guy is really nuts when he cracked jimmy he snuck over the head with a coconut remember he like yeah. pulls his pants down he's like you see this scar and everybody's like pull your pants up roddy <laughs> just when you think you got all the answers it, i changed the questions and he you know he could get away with things like like rick flair could Hits Jimmy Snuka in the still, head with a coconut. And Snuka yeah. was like the you man. Do you that couldn't now. touch him. He, he said was... some very like, taboo stuff against Mr. T. Too. Oh, like, yeah. Like, oh, I remember that. It was, like, I remember that. Okay. It's funny because he was such a heel. Yeah. One of the first heels that I remember where it was just like the fans loved him because he was that heel. He was like the original Stone Cold. He was a yeah. smart heel. Yeah, Did he you, was uh... clever, articulate. And, and Great he, wrestler. And he didn't yeah. pull punches with either side. He, he didn't no. care if you were a heel or not. He brought you on the show, and it Piper's was Piper's pit. It was funny. Was the highlight of like I, I some of it. those yeah. episodes. You know, uh, who's this? Oh no! Remember the uh, WrestleMania two fight, Mr. T versus Roddy Piper in the boxing? Yeah. Game. No, yeah. I don't remember that. But <clears throat> you don't remember that? No. Is oh, is wow. that a Iron Sheik baby? It is Iron Sheik. Yeah. Okay. When he turns heel, well, not heel heel, but he's already heel. But he when. Uh, What's his name? Sergeant Slaughter turns heel. Mm-hmm. That's what their new that. gimmicks are. So this was back in the early 90s then? Yeah, right when he's like <laughs> fighting Hogan for the title. Is is the Sheik with us still? Yeah, the Sheik's still with us. He's still tweeting in all caps. You <coughs> well, I remember he was going through some... Yeah, but I think he, was... he had a GoFundMe and he got, they got a sur- a surgeries he needed, so I think he's doing a lot better now. Funny thing about wrestling figures, I don't really collect them. This one I'm actually going to open, and he's going to be with like my Red Skull and Hydra and just like all oh, those nice. evil okay. dictators because he fits in with those guys. 
So it's like there'll be some pictures of Cap punching the old uh, Colonel in the face. Oh, there we go. Which Cap are you going to use, though? <laughs> Probably that the world is the War most II ridiculous cap. thing I've ever heard. You think that's ridiculous? Wait until you hear this. What? I'm going to superimpose your face on him and have Captain America punching you in the face. I'd rather it be Roddy Piper. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> like. Oh, wait, wait sorry. What? The, the outfit that Roddy Roddy Piper has on. Yeah. Is also similar to the outfit that he has on for the uh, the GI Joe they did for him. Oh, like, really? Yeah, but they, he just has his jacket on. Okay. Like in that in that uh, picture, I people don't are remember. super hunting the Kevin Nash and want to find. You said the chase of JYD in the blue yeah. pants. So the Kevin Nash just because of the Scott Hall just came out. Yeah. Which <laughs> went to six ninety eight on clearance, by the way. Okay. We're having a pa- uh, swap coming up. I'm sorry. We're having an event that used to be a swap that's now an event because it's not there's so be much. In Iraq. The, the event formerly known as a swap. As a swap. Yeah, I get it. The Prince yeah. Yeah. Whoa. T E V K A S. Look at his ear. I thought it was the headphones smoking, but I wasn't sure. It looked like I got good. that. Where is it? The Bloomington Knights of Columbus from 9 to 3, uh, 74 tables. All the tables are claimed. Sold out, people. Sold out. Uh, Halloween contest, costume contest, 100 bucks for adults, $25 if there's some kids. That's what you get as a prize, not what it costs to actually participate. Yeah. If you'd like to give me 100 bucks, please do. $100? <laughs> what do you need $80 for? I'm not giving you 40 bucks. Deal. <laughs> 20 is my final offer. <laughs> Brandon, what else should these people do? Uh, they should follow us on YouTube, but also on Instagram at the Toy Posse, uh, the Real Toy Posse, and at Minnesota Toy Posse on Twitter at the Toy Posse and Facebook the Toy Posse. And don't forget, we've got toys for you once we get five hundred. Oh yeah, sure. show, show a few more. Of those? Go ahead, show one real quick. Show the cool one, but don't drop it this time. Or you know what? Grab one that you haven't dropped, so you haven't re-injured something else. Oh, now look at his head, Doctor Doom. Now this is almost pretty much complete set with Chase. Is it? What are we missing? Yeah, uh, I think we're missing uh, Galactus. Let's find it. Like and subscribe. Huh? That's the first time I'm actually going to agree with Dr. Doom.